Easter is upon us. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy ha- Easter. Happy Easter to you. And you. Thank you. Do you have a... Uh, it's have Good like, Friday today when we're shooting this. It, so. it is Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, do you do anything special for Easter? Any, a- Anything at all? Any Anything I special? Don't. No? No. Okay. I mean, that's usually uh, a reason to have a get-together at, you know, my family's house. Is there like a special food that they cook or anything like that? They used to do lamb all the time. Mm. Almost like a lamb. Like okay. my mom got one of those as seen on TV rotisserie ovens. Yeah. And you just keep that boneless leg in the net. Just makes little slits in it and Put stuffs it with garlic, garlic yeah. cloves. Yeah. Yeah. You have and to, covers you, it you have in, to do the garlic cloves. Mm-hmm. And uh, rosemary and olive oil or whatever they do. I don't know. Ham, and just ham's the go-to. Turn it in the rotisserie right. all day. But yeah. ham, yes. Ham's the go-to. Ham seems to be what we do now. Rib rose. Sometimes a turkey. Right. I will bring a rib rose. That, like, I do that at Christmas. Yeah. I bring them one. I brought them one. That and a ham. I can't, aff- I can't afford it, but, I mean, I would really like to one day really try to do a beef wellington. Because I see it in the, the I see it in the ad. <laughs> it looks so good. I'm like, I want it so bad. It looks so delicious. And I've seen people make it. And because I'll see TikTok food videos. Looks pretty easy. It looks easy. We should do it together. And it looks delicious. Let's do it. I've saying. never made one. It looks easy. I, I, yeah, you know it, what it look, but it looks filet, but you know, you get the meat sweats <laughs> just staring at it. I just get a little hard on. I just get a little hard just on a little from bit. it. I, I do. Just like, uh, I'm just because the, then you're like, it's a picture. I'm I'm at the point in my life where now food arouses me. Like yeah, food porn. Yeah. That's, that's why that, that yeah. yeah that's a I'm thing. not that, watching. That is a reaction. I'm not watching Pornhub anymore. I'm on the Food Network watching some, oh, some you, shit go you down. You could watch food porn quite literally. What type of type our, of food our, porn? Our buddy uh, oh. Brandon showed me a, a video where this guy makes an omelet. In a girl's mouth. Hell yeah. <laughs> She's like naked. She's like, ah, and he like cracks eggs and then he stirs it with his dick. Oh, hell yeah. And then just starts yeah. mixing the, there it. It's disgusting. There you yet go. Yeah, hilarious at the same time. <laughs> Didn't you tell me one time you saw, what was it? A, a chick ate like a. Okay, yeah. Real, yeah, I'll tell you. So. You tell it. I don't This want... randomly, I was showing my girlfriend at the time, it was this video of this of this girl eating cereal out of another girl's ass like literally in her asshole eating it out with a spoon like some fruit loops yeah two girls one spoon it it literally was and it was it was weird and disgusting but like you <laughs> yeah. couldn't like not you're like how the that's fr- like a train wreck you're, you're just, just like how does that uh... feel how like how does how did you like i don't know i don't know but with what East- kind of cereal would you eat out of? A, I'm sorry to interrupt, but what kind? Of, it's got me thinking. What kind of cereal would you, if you had to? No. What would be the? I'm not no, if them. you had to, it's life or death. You choose death. Yes, I'm choosing death. Yeah, you could die from like I'm you know choosing death, being contaminated yeah, internally just, from I'm, whatever you know fecal. Yeah. Matter. I don't care how turned on it Did makes. You pick her. cocoa puffs that already looks like. You know, uh, <laughs> oh. Are you going with something bright and colorful? Maybe tricks. Tricks are for kids, Will. Frosted Flakes, maybe. I don't know. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I I don't know. I I, I ew. I know it's... I've mentioned what was that on the Thanksgiving episode we were talking about cereal for a minute and I, <laughs> I love wheat. <laughs> yeah, you... uh... I have to do one at a time. Just hey. <laughs> uh... Sorry, I interrupted you. With with Easter upon us, I thought it would be a great discussion. To talk about you and how, you know, you're an atheist and talk about that lifestyle. Okay. Um, you know, I I haven't dabbled much into it and I've always been curious. To I've had, like, questions for you. And instead of asking you... You're like Charles Barkley for a second there. Curious. Yeah. I love this. Instead of... It's terrible. Instead of asking you in our personal day-to-day life, I figure, and maybe the viewers would want to as well, just... Get to know you a little bit more, a little <laughs> bit better, and and I'm just kind of curious of like, did you just rip ass? No, that was. The I could have sworn you ripped ass. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you noticed? I could have sworn. I'd be like you Shrek. You I know, felt if it were me, something. you'd be dead. So I I figured with with Easter, you know, and you love Easter. You're a big Easter guy. 
Um, I, totally. I figure we can really just get down on some atheists. You can, like, yeah. educate me, educate the people. I'm not here to educate... I don't like using that word. Okay, maybe... We just want to know how fucked right, up this you is are. about beliefs. Or, or that, too. It's about uh, beliefs. I don't want... I mean, anything that is said, you know, I'm not... I may use something in jest, and I'm sorry. I, you know, forgive me. Right? Yeah. Just, I, I'm... You are... in title to your own little believies as right. I am I you just want to ask questions it's a yeah. different view you know you um, you know believe in like a, the Christian God right yeah You're, well no I'm Catholic so, so the Christian God yeah I mean that's step one like right. uh, that church is like divided into like a bajillion different subsects but it, uh, Catholicism is still the Christian Judeo Christian. I'm not the type where uh, you got to go to church every Sunday, Wednesday. You don't need to go. Of, you don't they're need... called frequent flyers, no. but they go on Easter. No, 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 they no. go on Christmas. No, no, no. Listen, those types of people, they're going because deep down they feel guilty about something that they did or are doing. And that's why they go a lot. That's why the mob was Catholic. You, know, you wipe the slate clean and then fit people for concrete shoes Monday morning. There you better you believe it, but There you go. So your parents, your parents are Catholic, right? Both of yes. them? Okay. And are they like, they're hardcore or just regular? Like My, my, my father is a devout Catholic. Okay. Um, and I have a lot of respect for that man. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, my mom is with it, but her and I have had some conversations like, kind of like the one we're about to delve into right now where she does agree with me on on certain things like she does question a lot the same way I do so I'm almost like like the what, what you know uh, yeah. let's be real I let's think, be real I think it's okay to question things right uh, cuz we do that all the time right you, know? you can't just take everything in face value like I'm I'm catholic and I, even I had you know but why are you race catholic? questions that's just how I was raised. I mean, okay. you know, I'm not like... And why were you raised Catholic? Because your parents were Catholic. Right. Because the grandparents were Catholic. Cause you right. know what I mean? Like, same thing with me. It was Roman Catholic and Irish Catholic. You know? Right. That's why we're the, you know, the Hoobins, you know. But my mom side, and it, you know, it fuses together. And um, it's just like, you know, how lucky... You know, if you're here, if you're here and you're in the United States or Canada right now, chances are listening to this. Or Ukraine. We're, we're thinking of or Ukraine. We're thinking about Jesus and God and, you know, some, you know, big, you know, beard and long yeah. hair, the white, you know, he almost right. looks like uh, Zeus, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, but how lucky is that? If you were in Pakistan, you probably are Muslim. Right. If uh, you live in Israel, you're probably Jewish. You're probably, you know, where all these different cultures, you know, if you're in India, you're probably a Hindu. Like, isn't that fortunate, you know? Like, right. oh, you know, this is the right one. This right. is it. You're right. Yeah. This is us. This is it. Right. You know? Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not one of those, like. But you could go down. There's thousands. Right. No, I see, and Science I respect topic. other people's beliefs because at the end of the day, whatever you believe in, you deal like in your own world. That's what helps you in life, like gets you to help cope. Or I can, I can help understand you, that. You know what I mean? Yes, like whatever, I can whatever that. it is, I may not agree with it or believe you in feel that. Like a lot but of things if that's are out what of you, right? You know, we all, you know, I get it. You, I can you need something to help you, feeling. right? Yes, I, I get that. So. You know, with with both your parents Catholic. Now, are your brothers Catholic as well? Or are they are they more by birth? Yeah, but they're I'd not. I have to let them answer that question. I feel like I could on their behalf, but I'm not gonna. Okay. But I feel like I could. So, like, what made like what made you like kind of like look at other religions or I mean is atheist a religion do, do they classify that as a religion it's not a religion no it quite like if you break the word down like theist mm -hmm. has to do with religion you know right monotheism polytheism polytheism is one god or many gods you know if you're a theologian you study it you know theology is the study of religion right so the a meaning without like asexual if you if there are creatures that reproduce asexually Remember that on SpongeBob? Can you reproduce asexually by budding? Can you? Can you? Can you? 
you know right. what I mean? Yeah. So the A just means without religion. Okay. Without that. Um, I wouldn't make the claim that there is a God um, of any kind, whether it's Hindu God, whether it's Allah, whether it's Yahweh, whether it is, you know, Jesus and, and all of that. But uh, it, you're all born atheist, in my opinion. Okay. You know what I said? That's how I mean by that. Like, my parents kind of bestowed that on me, and I'm going along with it. No, right. your parents, and when you're a child, your, your brain is like a sponge. Correct. So you take in all that information, and I was a troublemaker. So I was like, don't touch the stove. That's hot. Right. Fuck! Yeah, you know, mean, we, oh, shit. Yeah, we you know, all... They're right, they're right. You know, don't mess with that. It'll hurt you. Don't, you know, and sometimes, yeah, most of the time, I learn the hard way. So it's like these people, and that, that's given credence throughout my entire upbringing. Right. And then when we're getting into, like, you know, because all of a sudden Christmases are happening. Like, you don't remember it, really. You don't have that full recall, but it's there. Right. In the ether of infancy, if you want to call it that. It's just, like, back there. And the more it was, you know, put on, and it was, you know, there's this, there's that, there's this, there's that. And then in seventh grade, because I went through Catholic school my entire life. So you did go to Catholic school. Yes. Okay. Up to, up to eighth grade. Eighth, okay. High school, I went to public school. Okay. But, you know, and, and so it was, yeah, I, I went with it. Yeah, there's God, there's Jesus, I understood it all, read the Bible, you know. So when you went to public school, is that kind of, at that same time, is where you kind of question? It's a little before then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's, was there something in particular that made you question? question it or did something happen that you like anything like like what made you go was there a major life event that made yeah, me turn something. my back Not or you're really. just like you know no. this this, this it isn't take this that. isn't for yeah. me it doesn't really take that um for some people yeah you know because it always is you know i get asked that a lot sometimes like what if you're wrong what if everything is true you yeah I, I mean, mean if you die and you got to face God, what are you going to do? I'm going to be like, so you like giving kids cancer and, you know, oh, you like shit. fucking, you, you love, 9-11 was beautiful, bud. You know, the Holocaust, that was some nice work. Fuck you. <laughs> Up to, I'm going down, I guess. I'm wrong. You know, because how about that? You know, people ask that all the time. Just yesterday. Some dude on a New York City subway just opens fire. Oh, well, they always come back with that. Well, God gave us free will. Yeah, but, but God has a divine plan, right? If you look at the, the, the bits George Carlin has done, there's always that. It's God's plan. God works in mysterious ways, blah, 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 blah. Right. And the free will thing. I'm sorry. Like, you can't have both. You can't have a plan and also give me leeway to do whatever I fucking want. Because what if it's not part of your plan? Or if you knew I was going to do that and it is factored into the plan anyway, I don't necessarily have free will then, do I? Well, do you believe in evil? Sure. Okay. So, you know... You know, I don't believe in Satan. If you mean by evil, you know, Satanists not, make me laugh even worse. Like, not, not so you much the loser of the fight. Not so much Satan. I mean, I know there's like Satanists and and, and uh, the devil made me do it. Yeah, <laughs> but but I'm nice saying e evil in general. There's sure. evilness around and us. And there is good. And right. And sometimes, you know, the evilness is a test. Whether is if you're gonna fall in that trap of you know either like being evil or or whatever or you know you lose faith or hope because something tragic happened to you or you you know you keep you keep are, are you kind of wondering like why even bother being good no no what like I, for me like if i don't think that they're like if we're using religion as a moral compass which shouldn't be used as a moral compass, in my opinion. To some degree, it can be, but overall, it's a bit shaky well, at best. Well, no, I was getting at to where, because you were bringing up, you know, like, events that happened, like 9-11 mm -hmm. and the New York subway stuff, but it's like, can you really put that on God if it's, e if it's evilness itself? Yeah, because he created evil. Okay. Created everything, right? So, yeah. 
the devil's famous quote is like that, or it's like... The know, devil was an angel once, God right? created everything, and God is all good, and God created me, so it must be a little good to be a little bad sometimes. Mm. But going back to your question, nothing really traumatizing happened to me in order to make this... It was a, it was a process. It wasn't like, I'm an atheist, or there is no God. Okay. It wasn't like that. In seventh grade, when I was still in Catholic school, um, in English literature, we were studying Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. And I was slacking off. I was getting into those. I was more interested in being sociable and making friends and playing sports. Yeah, I could see to that. Girls. Yeah, I, that was my yeah, I, I could see you. School. Super super athletic. Yeah, I could see that. Let, let's let's get it. Hitting the gym. And uh, Football. I could see you. Rye receiver. <laughs> Jerry, why Jerry Rice out there? I yeah, see it. Yeah, I got an extra set of arms. Yeah, I see um, you. So... My teacher was gracious enough to at least give me a shot because my grades were in the tank, and that's never happened before. And I was in the doghouse with my folks, big time, totally grounded. You ain't yeah. going anywhere. You ain't doing anything. To, you get all this schoolwork done. And I basically had to cram a semester's worth of Greek mythology projects and workbook sheets and practices and all this kind of stuff and summarizations and readings just to get it done and get caught up mm -hmm. before it ended so that way I wouldn't, you know, right. get fucked. And it's really weird when you look at all that stuff and you're kind of like, wow, those people, wow, they believed this and this. And they had many, you know, and you're thinking about the timeline and where they are. I'm like, well, that kind of makes sense. Like, if you didn't have an answer, why does the sun go... If you think about like ancient peoples, right? Writing hasn't, you know, farming hasn't even been developed or anything like that. You know, what what moves the leaves yeah. in the air? What are these things growing out of the ground that create the leaves? How come they all turn colors at this time and then everything gets cold and then a little, like what's going on? The food gets scarce. Like what what is this? So of course, as human beings, it is in our nature to personify, meaning like make it. In our image, basically. It's mother nature. Now... You know, it's bearing fruit. They've watched... Female. They don't know how it works, but they've watched... Oh, my God. Like, and a baby comes out. So they bear... Right. So just like... Okay, so it's with mother nature. And, you know, some guy in a chariot pulls the sun across the sky. And then there's the king of the gods who has the lightning bolts, you know, Zeus. And then when I think, you know, my grandmother on my mom's side was French-Canadian. She used to always say, Oh, mon Dieu. What does that mean? My mom was like, oh my God. And I was like, and then look at, you look at it like written out, Ze it's Zeus. Hmm. But of course with the French accent on right. it. I'm like, Ze I'm like, I wonder where that was derived from. And you know, he's the king of the gods and the gods fucked humans all the time. Hmm. Sounds like another story I know of that, you know, we all might be familiar with that usually comes around Christmas time, you know, about. <laughs> Could you imagine if you were Joseph, bro? That would suck so bad. That would suck so bad. <laughs> so, okay. I was impregnated by an angel. Well, I mean, Holy look, shit. We're, we're not going to go through the whole Bible. Mm. Bible. If uh, you think about people in the Middle East, I feel like he would have chopped the baby out. You know, but this, is, this is about you, bud. Okay? This isn't I'm about sorry. the Bible. Um, so, what made you pick... Cause, you know, we can make an argument that there's a lot of different religions out there and stuff like Like, what made you pick atheists out of, diff of di different ideas? Right. Like, what, like, I bounced what made, around what made atheists, like, you know, were you, like, at, at, at the college, you know, trying to, you know, like, how they pick a hat of what school they're going to go to? You're like, ooh, what, which religion it's am like I going to pick? Hogwarts or... College. College. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, you, you know. Is but that like, where the sorting hat ritual comes into play? I didn't go to college. Can you tell? Yeah, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, but, but like, do, did you have, like, were there other options you were considering? Or, no. like, but, so what? It wasn't about to become some, you know, a different kind of religion because if you look into all the other ones, too, they have their own flaws and fallacies. The difference with the Greek mythology and, like, you know, even some of the Roman mythology was kind of like they knew it wasn't, you know. That was just something you say, you know, praise the God, because they didn't have an answer. 
okay. for it. You so know? Eve, so you looked at others. Why and is there, just... you know, the oh, Poseidon must be angry. That's really choppy today kind of thing. And so I really was just like, you know what? I, my brain almost went into like, okay, well, what if, what if it's God? And it's sending to different cultures during different times of struggle a Messiah, if you will. Mm-hmm. For the Israelites, you know, it was Jesus. For, uh, you know, for the Greeks, it could have been Mithra. Um, it, it was uh, Krishna for the Hindu. You know what I mean? Like they just drop, dropping them all around right. sort of thing. Uh, but then it gets, it gets ridiculous. It gets ridiculous because it's, it's making this insane claim that all have different rules, that all have different, uh, you know, stories and meaning behind things, that all have different characters, and they all seem to coincide with each other. And when you really look at them all, it's based on the stars. It's based on astrology mm-hmm. and space. If you look at, you know, the paganism and the cross of the zodiac, the sun is the center. The wheel of the year goes around and it has, what do we have? We have 12 months in a year. Yeah. So there's 12 constellations around the sun. Sounds like 12 apostles following the sun. Um, so that number is even replete throughout the Bible. It's 12 tribes of Israel. Jesus was 12 when he taught the... The old men in the temple. Is and it, I'm just looking at the it, 12 oh commandments too? 10 commandments. Oh, shit. 10 commandments. Wow. <laughs> 10 commandments. Oh, Pedophilia is not in the oh, 10 commandments, fuck. mind you. So I think that's where the Catholic Church oh, gets off. Shit. Like it, and even the 10 commandments. You know that was written by a dude. Mm. Come on. So, Thou shall not covet your neighbor's wife is a commandment. Not husband. Wife. So it makes me think it was just like a really insecure dude that was just, I'm looking at my wife, you know, like, it, my girl, man, I'm making it a commandment. I'm gonna put it in the, well, the like, fuck out of here. Why didn't you pick like Scientology, for example? Like, oh, could... that's even more ridiculous. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I, know. I will say it's impressive considering that these other religions that have these mass followings have been around for thousands of years and Scientology not so much. Right. If you look at that as a comparison, it's very impressive. But... Even like people like Christians and Jews and Muslims and Buddhists and Hindus, and they look at Scientology and they go, "Well, isn't that silly?" Right? You fucking kidding me? I think so. Everybody can agree that Scientologists a is a talking no snake no ma- in a fucking magic garden. Like, is that any crazier? A virgin getting pregnant by the Lord? Like, is that any weirder? Yeah, it's not really. So I agree with you. Just let them have it. Like I used to be that guy. When I was growing up, and I mean, I'm still a little angry, but really, I mean, really full of piss and vinegar. Like, I mean, people would say, bless, like, uh, I guess Penn says, Gillette from Penn and Teller, the magicians. Yeah. He is a staunch atheist to the point where, like, if he sneezes and you say, bless you, or God bless you, and, you know, he's going to jump down your throat. And to a degree, I was kind of like that when I was, you know, 16 to like 22-ish, I was a little standoffish. And you know what? That gets you nowhere. Right. It's not fair. It's not their fault. Because guess what? I was born into it too. And I fucking believed every word of it. And you know what? If they're not killing people, they're not hurting children, animals, like fucking shit up and being awful, do it, you know? Yeah. But, you know, you look at things where it gets complicated, like politics, because religion gets politicized. You look how this shit has tentacles. I mean, we look as, at Islam like, oh my God, they're going, oh, 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 they blow well, themselves up. and they're, well, blah, 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 not, But yet you'll just ban, a, DeSantis signed it the other day. They're banning abortions. Was it 15 weeks? Over 15 weeks? That doesn't, it doesn't include, like you, you even if it was rape or incest, if you think you that's, still can't get one? If you think that's fair. Fuck fed, up, Ronnie. Dude. After, no, Sorry, hold on. Dude. I think, we have, I like, think as long as it's moment, 15 but... weeks, uh, like before 15 weeks. But if you think that's bad, Ohio, the Ohio governor just signed a bill that you cannot get an abortion at all whatsoever. And where they do you made think it those illegal. beliefs are getting pushed by? I mean, look. Every that, life that, is that, precious. That, that's, is it? I, look, that's look a Look at me. That's is a, it? Yes. Your life is precious. Um, oh, you're you're very precious, but we're we're not going to get into the whole you know. I'm just saying, abortion. Religion deal. has that's, tentacles. That's well, not only not only politicized, but 
there's a financial there's a financial aspect to oh, to all sure. of it. Look at the Vatican. They have their own fucking city, bro. Like, come on. Yeah. Everybody's draped it, in tax gold, bro. tax credits, donations, yeah. write offs. No right. I mean, it's amazing. There's a good joke I heard where there's a little kid, there's a Catholic priest and a Jewish rabbi, and they all have a collection basket full of money. Mm-hmm. And they are uh, assigned the task of basically how do you decide you know, what to keep for the church or the temple and what to give to God? What's God's share? So the rabbi starts, he draws a line on the ground. He says, I will toss this money up. What lands on the right side is God's. What lands on the left side goes to the temple. The priest throws it up, does something similar, but he does a circle. Anything inside the circle is God's. Anything outside the circle is for the church. Kid tosses his up, says, anything God catches, he can keep. <laughs> did you not catch? Oh, okay. I, I did. But I lost yeah, it. Isn't that no. funny? All right. You did. I mean, Fine. you know. Tough crowd. Look, it's not, you know, you have your day. Sometimes you're funny, you know, other times you're just like, eh, you know. This ain't the chuckle hut. It's okay. It's all right. What I really appreciate from you is, like, you don't really... You don't really like push. You don't really. You don't at all push. Right. It feels and, like I am somewhat now because it's the topic. But no, you 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 in, you, life, you in life you do not push yeah. your beliefs or you don't um, shun or make fun or put anybody else's beliefs or religion down, which is really refer. You know, which is good. Yeah, like I said, I used to be angry when people would do that kind of stuff. I was like a little standoffish, but I mean. Going back to my father is a perfect example. Every time we leave, we hug each other, we tell each other we love each other. Now I'm taking the, the prompt on it. He says it usually first. It was, God bless you, son. Mm. Now I'm telling him that. Because you know what? Even if I don't believe it, he, to his core, believes that. Right. And he's wishing that for me. And that's beautiful. How do they feel that you're not, uh, that you went down the atheist road? My mom's sort of indifferent to it. Um, I mean, I know by now they're, a, they're used to it. I don't know my dad really it. knows. I'm sure he kind of was like, yeah. But, but that's, you know, that's why I don't talk about it with him. That that That's offensive material to mm. him. And I get that. Everybody like, what? that's another thing too. A lot of these religious people that talk about snowflakes, I mean, make one fucking crack about Jesus and holy shit, watch the snow fall. Well, I say fuck too much and Tyler's mom yeah. already doesn't like me. So. Yeah. She doesn't like Andrew Dice Clay either, but you know, you know he's still yeah. he's still yeah. doing his thing, man. He was at Side Splitters. <laughs> um so, okay, so you know, they still loved you, you know, oh, you're yeah. you're you're because the it son, is whatever. it's all about they're using it like I said, if you do the things to because you think it gives you some sort of moral compass or anything like that, that's fine. That's great. Yeah. If you decide to to use your God in order to kill an abortion doctor or in order to fly airplanes into buildings, I have a problem with that. I have a fucking big problem with that. Yeah. You're going to do God's work? He's God. I think he... I, I think... Right? I think we're good. I think well, you, it's going to the plan, right? Yeah, I mean... Well, I am the plan! Well, you know? It, you it know, becomes a mental issue. It's yeah, like but an imaginary at, friend. But, but Allah isn't God. Like, that. that's a God to them, but that's not, you know... How do you know? I mean, you know... Right. L- listen, no one... Nor does it say, you know, kill people to get virgins up in uh, heaven like that. You know, I'm just never saying. saying what kind of virgins you're going to get either. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. I like what NoFX puts out. I'd rather have 72 hookers. So, no, fuck them all. Um, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, fuck them all. Fuck um, them all. Okay, got it. Do, so, okay, do you have, do you have, um, do you have faith in anything at all? Like luck, spirits, ghosts, oh, that, and, no. and their energies. Well, there, that's that's too. My my level of atheism doesn't end at just like you know, organized religion. You know, whether it's the wishing well, the horseshoe, even the zodiac. What's your sign? Right. Here it is. Like get the fuck out of here. Like, come on, man. Th- those okay. I take full responsibility for my bullshit behavior. 
I, I will tell you, any any girl that I've talked to in the past that bring up what's the your fucking sign. Yeah, what's your sign? What what's Exit. your mom? That's my sign now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, they are some fucking freaky ass. I like, I, I, look, Mercury look, is in Gatorade, and it's really messing with my aura. Oh my god, so. you're 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 a Leo. I'm a Pisces. You know what that means? Like, we're gonna have incredible sex, you know, for six hours a day or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Like some weird shit. I don't know, look, I don't Pisces. I'm I'm actually glad you brought that up because I got to take it back to the cross of the zodiac with the paganism and how everything's based on it. An age lasts about twenty one hundred years, and after every age, our solar system, wait for it, that was hot. aligns with a new constellation. But they go backwards than what goes through the year. Like how they go through the year by birthdays and stuff, with the angles of the stars and the constellations, it's going backwards. So Pisces, what's Pisces? What's the symbol? Do you know? Uh, no. You already know. Two yeah. fish, right? It's the two fish. Oh, I did not know that. I did. <laughs> Jesus' first two uh, disciples were two fishermen. He fed people five loaves and two fish. And Atlantic I'm sure... Fish? Salmon? I have no idea. Atlantic salmon? Probably. Snapper? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Rainbow trout? Maybe what tilapia. Tilapia? Tilapia. Okay. Tilapia's it's not, not bad. Tilapia kind of guy. Tilapia's not bad. Orange roughy. Um... <laughs> Angelfish. That's what he did. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Angelfish. <laughs> Sheep's head. <Yeah. laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm sure we've all seen on the back of people's cars the, you know, the Jesus fish. Yeah. Like, Vo- where you... Volvo right. hat. But Volvo does it. asks why. Like, I used to ask my dad that, and he told me that, like, back in the day in, like, those Roman times, that that was the way that Christians signified each other. And maybe mm. that is true. They just did one part. In the sand. And then they just look at... It's almost like a secret knock or a password. Okay. You just do that because if you're not, then they'll be like, I don't know what the... What are you doing? You'll be like, oh, nothing. <laughs> What's up, man? Right. But then if they finish it and make okay. the fish, then it's, you know, kind of... That sort of makes sense. That signifies, okay, we can talk right. freely sort of thing. I don't know how 100% truthful that is. It, it sounds kind of right. If I... there was that kind of persecution... That was going on during that time as well. Justin Martyr, that's where we get the term from. It was 7 AD or 9 AD. He was the first one to die in the lion pit in the Colosseum for his faith in Christianity. Emperor Constantine was amazed. He goes, holy shit, because they were on a tear. The Romans, this guy was not afraid. You can even look at their churches, the Church of Justin Martyr. Mm. The Saint Justin Martyr now. So... You know, this guy dies for his faith, hence the term being a fucking martyr. Hello. And uh, basically then indoctrinates his entire military to be a Christian. I will tell you that. Because if you just go and think about our military. You know what I mean? Like that. A lot of God-fearing men that go in. I'm not saying that what they're doing isn't. But if you think that it's it's almost like dying for 72 virgins. You're not afraid because Mm -hmm. you're good to go. Yeah. We just rationalize it in a somewhat more sophisticated way, but it's still, in my opinion, the same barbaric behavior and mentality. But but the idea is that you know you're fighting for good and you're fighting against evil. Right. So which is still the story of the Bible too, with the um, God and the devil. And I will I will tell you good and evil. I will tell you back to that fish thing. For whatever reason, I see people who who own a Volvo. Always have that fish sign in the back where, oh. like, where their lice. Yeah, Volvo. I'll have to look at that. I've never noticed that. I don't know why. It's like I. I don't know if that's like Is their that Swedish. Yeah. Volvo? yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's like their signature. Like you know, not this. Not only the fish, but they got to have a Volvo as well. <laughs> I don't know, but it's it's. I always find that on a Volvo. Always. It, it, so not, Volvo enough, it, it just not turns in into any one of those other words cars. that doesn't sound like not a word. Not on any other Volvo. cars. There is just that car. Don't... That, Maybe Jesus makes them. <laughs> no. Um, so, okay. So you don't, quote unquote, believe in God, spirits, zodiac oh, signs, yeah. anything like ghosts, that? Ghosts. I'm sorry, Jeremy. I'm just not buying it, man, because I don't... I, so that, do, that is proof of an afterlife. Ghosts. So 
So what? You know what I mean, well, where are the fucking ghosts or whatever? Like, I get it. I talked about seeing a UFO, but I also stated that I didn't know exactly what it was. I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's aliens, but what the fuck? Never had an experience with ghosts. I'll give you that. Mm. But people like to let their imaginations get the better of them. You know, things that go bump in the night. You know, must be a ghost. So what do you what do you think? Or it ha- could be gravity. So what do you think happens when when we all die, when a person dies? What do you think happens? I don't know. Do do, do you have a clue? Any theory? The only way I can Any try to describe it, I and and myself included, and all of us, will have the same answer. But I'll ask you this: Do you remember what it was like before you were born? No, uh, no. Right, I think maybe kind of like that. Like, just... Because I don't either. <laughs> I know, it sounds crazy. Do any of us? No, well, what, it's okay. What, what do... Is there like... A, I mean, what does atheists or atheism like think what happens when you die? Like, Well, I mean, the best answer I've ever heard was from Keanu Reeves because they asked him that and he said, after we die, we will be missed. That's what happens after you die. I like that. What that's do you think? Really re- re- resurrection? I, mean, uh, wh- I really what's don't that? think. That'd be cool. Like, I mean, that's what I mean. I believed it. I wanted that. Sign me up. Mm. You know, they even at Mel Gibson, of all fucking people, you know, directing The Passion of the Christ or whatever, before he even went loco, was interviewed. And, you know, they were asking him, you know, they said, do you believe in the afterlife? You know, and, and why? And he's, well, there's got to be something more than this. Mm. Think about that for a moment. Yeah. Are you a fucking infant child, Mel? Yeah. He's proven to be a fucking nut job. More than this. More than this. It's amazing. Everything. Everything. Even just if you go out, like, even just, not even just on Earth. And all the different things on Earth, the different creatures, the oceans, the jungles, the Arctic. It's unbelievable the environments and creatures that are able to adapt and yet still survive life is unbelievable and the universe is even more crazy than that to sit there and go that's it that's all you got for me Mm. you're this amazing divine creator and it's not really that impressive heaven's gonna be it what if this is like the hell and how you (laughs) but 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 i'm saying like like because I've thought of this I've sometimes that too, too yes. that like this, this is, is the hell, hell <laughs> and and how you go about it th- through all the different shit that comes your way and how you are as a person and, and all that stuff that that you know it's a test right and then the ultimate goal is heaven. Do you okay? So with that kind of scenario, do you think the game ends just in one try, or, or are you talking like a reincarnation type of hypothetical? Like, you, you, you know, keep going through hell until yeah, you get it right? Yeah, because the idea of hell is that you're stuck there for eternity. So, the so you know, let's just say, you know, you're Sounds just... Like purgatory, kind of, because I've had good times. If that means I can have good times in hell, too, I mean, I might just, you know, sign up for another I, go. I mean, it sucks. I, I, I don't know. I, look, look, wall, look, I'm, I not, it, I'm not getting all it. philosophical and shit. I'm just... It's just an yeah, idea. We can philosophical all day, I'm just, baby. I'm just saying... Sometimes I think like, okay, this could be the hell, and and like we're just in the test for how, you know, like just how we go could about be, could it. Be. I I don't believe, and that's the whole point of atheism. I'm not saying you're wrong. Sure, am I saying things are silly? Am I comparing them to others that may make you think I'm mocking it just because I can see the similarities? You're only getting upset if you're getting upset because I'm making good points, and it's kind of making you question things. But it's okay to question them. And even after that, it's okay to still believe in those things that are in your core. I'm not here to shake it, but oh, I don't yeah. necessarily believe in reincarnation either. Mm. But show me some proof, and I will. Right. Like I said, if I died and people, you know, I go to heaven, and what would you say to God? If God revealed himself right now, right now, I'd be like, I'd be the first one in line to say I was wrong. My bad. But that yo. see, but that's that's. But how could you? Th- I mean, look at this shit. You let all this stuff just fucking. But that's kind of the. Mess. But that's kind of the point of like God is to have faith and believe without necessarily having to see Him. Yeah, but how jealous and fucking conceited is that? If you're an all powerful divine being, and if you think how it's changed, the Jewish God, the Old Testament, Catholicism is both. Like I said, Judeo Christian. 
So the Old Testament is the whole fire and brimstone, the Noah's Ark story, right? Noah parting the Red Sea, the plagues of Egypt, and then the New Testament is all Christ. I mean, that those were the hits. You right. know what I mean? Like that yeah. was really popular. Like at that, time. and that you know, because if you think about the positive message that is being put forth, you know, it's it's just be good, yeah, like love one another, even the differences. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's no real mystery around, right? Just be good. You know, all those different stories. And I love those too, growing up and listening to those. The parables. They were my favorite. They were my favorite. Listen, I I hate to do this, but I got to take a poop. <laughs> like real bad, I've been holding it in. So, you got to so let out a demon. I, I, I have to let out some demons. You got to okay? let out a demon. So let's, let's just. Feels the bob so is let, arriving. So let's, let's take a pause, okay? And we're talk gonna, about and, some parables when, we're, when we come back. We're going right. to come back with a part two, All okay? Right. I will, All right. I will finish this beer and get a new one. You have All fun right. in there, man. Thanks, bud. Please use the AC. I did restock the TV. Oh, thank God. Yes. I got to go. It's not that one ply dog <laughs> shit either, bro. It's top shelf. <laughs>